I'm Jeff Alpin, the Big Game Hunter. I'm the head coach for NoBSCoachingAdvice.com and JobSearchCoachingHQ.com. I used to be a professional recruiter, did it for many years, filled more than 1,200 full-time positions plus consulting assignments as a third-party recruiter. And I want to speak with those of you who are involved with hiring staff, particularly if you're at larger organizations. And I've given this a pro provocative title about hiring arrogance and how bad behavior won't be unnoticed or unpunished. Pretty ambitious statement, isn't it? Let me explain. For years, you guys have been looking all over LinkedIn to find people, right? You have a LinkedIn recruiter account you're searching just like you're supposed to be doing. Good for you. For many of you, you have the resources to do the hard work to find people. Where it breaks down is once you start interviewing, once you start talking to people, you don't treat them like people. And these days, people have a way to respond, whether it's a site like Glassdoor or comparably or through friends. But the real thing is about the online resources that are now available to brand your firm for bad behavior. Just remember that they can do the same thing to you as you've been doing to them now. And if you don't believe me, take a look at your firm's ratings on Glassdoor. You think your interviews are so secret, specifically on lower level positions? Uh-uh. Many of the interview questions are all listed there. And the problem becomes your bad behavior shows up there too. When you ghost someone and don't respond back and go dark, you know, it's like, hello, is there anyone there? And they're now commenting about it and sharing it with others so that they know how arrogant you are. And when your hiring managers treat people rudely or don't communicate with you and thus you with them, it's getting commented upon. And we're not just simply talking about their friends. It's getting posted on sites where people are looking for information about you and your firm. They may not identify the specific hiring manager by name, most of the time, but they will comment about how they were treated at the interview, how the firm you know, said, we'll be back to you in two days and never did. Is that how you want your firm to be noticed? Do you think that's going to adversely affect whether or not people, shall we say, want to interview with you, let alone hire you? Remember, these days of social of websites. Information is abundant. Just like you have access to enormous stores of information about people, they have information about enormous stores of you. I think it's worthwhile if you start talking to your hiring managers about better behavior, because unless things have radically changed, which I know they haven't because I coach people and I hear the stories from them, I'll give you one awful story in a second. Unless things have radically changed, well, the word is out about you and your organization. Like the person who was told, you'll be having an offer. You'll be getting an offer from us next week. And then got the rejection later, a letter a month later, after repeatedly calling and emailing to find out, hey, I'm, I was told I'm getting an offer. What happened? Am I getting the offer? and then gets the rejection letter. No explanation. Do you think this was a guy who was really happy with that firm? Do you think they went online and shared the story? How about that? So I just want to remind you, start talking to hiring managers about what they say and what the impact might be of some of the bad behavior. And again, if someone says, you know, there's a possibility we might, you know, we'll be back to you early next week. There's a possibility we might have a little bit of slippage, but, you know, we should have decisions within the next few days and we'll communicate results. Once you say that, you got to follow up on it because otherwise your firm gets branded badly.
I'm Jeff Altman. Hope you found this helpful. If you did and you're watching on YouTube, click the like button, share it, do something that lets people know that it's worthwhile. And if you want to subscribe to my channel where I have advice about job search, hiring, being a more effective manager, you know, it's career coaching information about being better in the workplace, as well as some life coaching stuff once a week, I want to encourage you subscribe to my channel on YouTube. You'll get notices whenever I release an, a new piece of content there. I also want to mention if you or someone in your organization is interested in one-on-one -on -one coaching, reach out to me through LinkedIn at linkedin.com forward slash IN forward slash the big game hunter. Mention that you saw the video. I'd love to know that we're helping some folks. Once we're connected, message that you're interested in coaching. We'll set up time for a free discovery call. Hope you have a great day and take care.